Hi, my name is Aparajita and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the IBM and Cloud Group at Cisco. In this video recording, we will look at the Catalyst 9800 embedded wireless controller on the Cat9K switches. This platform is being introduced with the latest Cisco iOS XC 17.3 release. So far, we have had embedded wireless in STA mode on the Cat9K switches, which means that we had the capability of turning on wireless functionality on 9K switches in an STA architecture. What we are introducing with 17.3 is the capability to introduce single site wireless in a non-SDA deployment. This functionality can be enabled via a native web UI on the CAT 9K switches and is very similar to the basic setup wizard in other Catalyst 9800s. This platform supports a scale of 200 APs and 4000 clients per switch or switch stack. And in a site, you can go up to two switches, which gives you the total scale of 400 APs and 8000 clients in a single site. Remember that this is a totally non-SDA deployment and it does not need Cisco DNA Center for configuration or automation. It does, however, need Cisco DNA Advantage license, just like embedded wireless and SDA mode on the 9K switches. We support this on the 9300L, the 9300, 9400, 9500 and 9500H switches with the scale of the 9300L being half of the other variants. Looking deeper at the architecture, there can be two stacks in a single site. Each one can be independently in SSO mode and they can be in N plus one between each other. The control plane is going to work over CAPWAP from APs to the controller and data plane is VXLAN tunnels. Both direct and indirectly connected APs are supported in this mode, but for high availability, the tested and supported topology is external edge node. SVL or stack-wise virtual is not supported with SSO, and hence SSO is not supported with the 9500H variant in the current release. From an AP standpoint, we support all Wi-Fi 6 APs, all indoor Wave 2 APs that are supported on 17.3 and also outdoor Wave 2 APs in local mode. This is a for your reference slide with all the features supported. And as you can see, we have high feature parity between the Catalyst 9800 controllers and the embedded wireless in non-SDA mode on the 9K switches. There are two prerequisites for turning on the embedded wireless functionality on the CAT9Ks. The first is that the loopback address needs to be configured. And the second is that the wireless sub package needs to be installed during, you know, using the install commands on the CLI. And the successful installation of the wireless package can be verified by running the show install summary command. In addition, the wireless controller CLI also needs to be configured. So let's look at the configuration workflow by logging into the box. On the switch, uh, the loopback address in this case has already been configured under configuration interface wireless. So the next step is to go into the wireless setup by clicking on this icon on the top right. Here, the embedded wireless setup can be enabled, and once this is done, a new location can be added. Within the location, the user will be able to specify the general settings of the site, including client density and AP onboarding details, wireless networks to be broadcasted in that site, and APs that need to be provisioned as part of this site. The San Jose location in this example has been configured with typical client density, the AP onboarding, VLAN, IP address, subnet mask, and DHCP server. Next, a wireless network can be added. Click on Define New to enter the profile and SSID name and enable the status. Configure the security and advanced parameters. And lastly, assign the VLAN and click OK. Next, under AP provisioning, 
APs can be added to the site either with a CSV file that contains the MAC address and serial numbers of the access points or a direct assignment of already joined APs to the site. Once this is done, hit apply. WLAN profiles and policy profiles will get automatically created in the backend, and so will the tags like the policy tag, RF tag, and site tag. The new location is now set up for wireless and clients can associate with the SSIDs and start passing traffic. The embedded wireless controller on the CAT9K switches is an easy to configure solution for your single site deployments and can be intuitively configured using the intent based configuration and managed directly from the web UI of the device. Thank you for watching. Yeah.